Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial of the new Procreate 4.2 feature called Quick Shape. And I'm using a first gen iPad Pro and a second gen Apple Pencil. And I'm using my monoline brush. And let's dive right in to drawing a circle first. So what you're going to do is just draw a normal circle. And see how it snapped it right into place? That's what Quick Shape does. You can also take your other pointer finger and put it on the screen if you want a different look for your shape. It depends on what you want. But then what you can do is resize your shape, do whatever you want to do with your pencil, and then lift up your pencil, and then up here at the top of the screen you'll see Edit Shape. And you can click Ellipse if you wanted an ellipse initially or a circle and it transforms it into each of those shapes. So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to show you what these cool little points do. And if you move the points, it moves and manipulates and orients the circle to wherever you want to move it to, which is really cool for flexibility of what you're doing. And that's it for the circle. Now I'm going to quickly show you the square. So I'm going to draw a square, not a very good square. And so it kind of looks just like a polygon right now. And then let's put our other finger down. Oh, there we go. Now it's a square. Look at that. And then lift it up and then go to edit shape. And then you're going to turn it into a quadrilateral if you want or a rectangle or a polyline, which is what we had. So it was supposed to be a square, didn't really draw it like that. So I'm gonna say it's a rectangle and call it a day. And then what we can do is we can manipulate it down if we want to, just like that. Turn it into something else. It depends on what you want. It's up to you. And then now let me show you one more cool feature about this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line and they call them polylines like if you're doing a cityscape or something like that and you hold it down and see how it just snapped it like that and if you um, put your other finger it'll snap it again and so these shapes don't necessarily have to be closed in order to be able to be quick shaped that's what I'm calling it uh, so you can quick shape lines which is really cool if you're doing sort of geometric and more complex illustrations this is crucial to have in your back pocket and then lift it up edit shape polyline and then you know edit whatever you want to edit whatever you want to do move those anchor points around however you want and you're good to go and that's about it. It's a pretty cool tool and I'm definitely going to be utilizing it when I make fonts because it'd be really cool if I could draw a circle and then have it snap into a perfect circle for an O in the alphabet. Or if I wanted to do an A, it would snap into an A. And it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It's an awesome new tool and again it's called Quick Shape and it is accessible once you get the Procreate 4.2 update which is totally free if you've already bought Procreate and have it on your iPad. And again thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.